Good morning. Here I am again. Joanne Williams from Cutter's Hair Salon, located in South Buffalo in a hair salon called Teresita's, corner of Abbott and Hollywood. Um, if you like this uh, video, please share, like it, and send it to your friends who have curly hair or crazy hair. I'm here to teach you about curly hair. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I've already done this, but I'm going to do it again. First of all, wash your hair, condition it. Don't shake your hair in a towel. Do this. Wrap it. Let its water soak in, depending on the thickness of your hair. My hair is pretty thick. So let's see, I've had this towel on maybe mm, about 20 minutes now, okay? So then what you do is you take it off, take the towel off, okay? And comb out your snarls. Comb, brush, doesn't really make any difference, okay? Just do it gently. Get all your snarls out, all the way to the ends, okay? And when you get to the ends, start from the bottom and work your way up. See, nice and easy. And basically, in this video, I want to teach you about your part, okay? Now, I tell every single one of my customers the same thing. Everybody's got what they call a natural part in the hair. Whenever you comb your hair straight back off your face, your hair will split where it grows out of your head. It will always be there. It will never change. For some reason, we've grown up with this. Men do this, okay? They have this little space over here. And then they comb their hair over and they have this big old hump okay they say oh i have this colic hair it's not a colic you're forcing your hair someplace it where it want to go so it's going to do this okay i don't know why that has happened but it has because nobody should walk around unless you're doing a whip over like this okay with this little bit here and all that because you can see you can see the arch right here okay the hair doesn't want to be there so comb your hair straight back and it's amazing. I tell these people over and over and over, well, you know, I've been parting my hair there for years. That's why it's there. No, you cannot put something permanent in your head. You can spray it. You can gel it. You can glue it. You can do all that. But you can't change the natural part. It starts from the back of your head from the, right here in the soft spot. And you can see mine's already falling in. While your hair is wet, take it. Comb straight back. And it will split where it grows out of your head every single time every time women say well this is my spot back here and i don't understand why that splits because that's where it starts the circular motion okay when you want to get it up just go like this and it will pop up for you okay men too they're crazy i don't understand why they even do this okay but back in the 70s early 80s we learned how to cut hair all natural just go with the flow now nobody says you have to wear it there okay you can put it anywhere you want you want to go off to this side that's fine you want to keep it off of your head off, you know, off your forehead, comb it in another direction. But I'm only explaining to you why it happens. Okay, people don't understand about their hair because nobody takes the time to teach you. Hairdressers just say, do what you want. You know, you'll come in and say, well, I want my hair cut and parted on this side. Okay, well, you can do it. Not saying it's going to look good or it's even going to stay there. But this is what they call a natural part. Comb it straight back and it will split every time. You want it on an angle? that's fine okay but originate back here you want it on this angle that's fine but originate it back here okay now if i did it like this then it would stay off my face even more but don't my hair has a tendency to fall on it on my forehead and on my face and this is basically what i do i wash it i leave the towel on it and then i just shake it out okay just shake it out okay then i'll use my fingers and push it where I want it to go, okay? And then I just leave it and let it dry by itself. That's the best thing you do. How easy can it be? It's just so simple. If you want fullness, go from underneath and flap it up this way, okay? Well, that's it for now because I don't want to go much longer than this. So if you like this, if you want more information about anything about your hair, please don't hesitate to comment below and let me know what you think of these videos. You have a blessed day. And uh, see you later. Bye-bye.